Igad and the Sudan Crisis. Will Al Burhan's recent visit reinforce Igad's role? Hello and welcome. I am Afumia Yaleo and this is News Analytica. The civil war in Sudan has reportedly claimed the lives of more than 10,000 people and caused the displacement of 6 million Sudanese. The war has also been characterized as a significant threat to peace and stability in the wider Horn of Africa region. Since the outset of the violence, there have been multiple initiatives by regional mechanisms and the wider international community to end the fighting, bringing the warring generals to dialogue and improve access to humanitarian assistance. Despite some accusations that the African regional mechanisms failed to address Sudan's crisis, the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, or also known as IGAD, has attempted to do its part to engage the leaders of the parties to the conflict in Sudan. Today's news analysis will explore the role of IGAD in finding solutions for the ongoing Sudan crisis and how their recent visits by Al Burhan to neighboring countries could reinforce IGAD's role in helping to bring a political solution. Stay with us. The Intergovernmental Authority on Development, or IGAD, established a high-level mediation delegation to deal with the Sudan crisis, called the IGAD Quartet Group, which includes President Salva Kiir of South Sudan, President William Ruto of Kenya, President Ismail Omar Gale of Djibouti, and Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed of Ethiopia. The IGAD Quartet is chaired by the Kenyan President. At the 14th Ordinary Assembly of Heads of State and Government, on 12th of June, IGAD endorsed its Roadmap for Peace in Sudan, which includes a face-to-face -face meeting with the leaders of the warring parties, the establishment of a humanitarian corridor, and an inclusive political process to settle the conflict. At a meeting in Nairobi on September 6, the IGAD Quartet Group agreed on a single, all-inclusive IGAD AU-led platform to lead the mediation. IGAD has also represented the African Union in the Jeddah talks on the crisis in Sudan. The president of the Transitional Sovereign Council of Sudan, General Abdel Fattah Abdel Rahman Al Burhan, traveled to Kenya on November 13 and met with Kenyan President William Ruto. Both agreed to hold a meeting of IGAD leaders to speed up the Jeddah process for a ceasefire. Ruto said during the meeting the Jeddah process must be accelerated towards secession of hostilities and the country. Al Burhan continued his visit in the Horn of Africa and arrived in Addis Ababa on the 15th. He was welcomed by the Prime Minister Abi Ahmed. Al Burhan's visit to Nairobi and Addis is expected to pave the way for IGAD to play a greater role in resolving the Sudan crisis and to ease tensions that have built up between Kenya and Sudan. It is recalled that Burhan criticized Nairobi for allegedly siding with his opponent, Mohamed Hamdani Dagalo, or Hemeti the leader of the Rapid Support Forces. A normalization of relations between Sudan and Kenya could once again make IGAD a critical institution in the Horn of Africa that leads mediation, peacemaking, and peacekeeping programs. That is all for today's news analysis, and thank you for watching. Make sure you join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.